Hey everyone, George here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about quarantine tanks. I've been getting a lot of questions about this here in recent weeks and I wanted to kind of cover it a little bit and give you my opinion on it. It's only my opinion and my experiences. So uh, when we come back, we're going to talk about that. Hang in there with me. We'll be right back. So as I said in the intro, um, over the last couple of weeks, a lot of questions have been coming up about quarantine tanks and the size that I recommend as far as uh, what it would be a minimum size for a couple of discus fish, some angel fish, those kinds of fish that uh, uh, you would think need a lot of room. Now, somebody approached me on a question about a 20 gallon that was completely empty, had nothing in it except for the fish. And my opinion on that is that that's not the ideal size, but yes, you can get away with it. Now, why I say that is, is because I have done it. I have a 20 gallon setup right now. I happen to have two, uh, about three inch discus in there right now uh, that are not in quarantine, as you can see in the video here uh, that I've got uh, put up behind this. Uh, you can see that this is something you can do. Now, do I recommend it? No, I don't recommend it 100% uh, unless you are very, very disciplined like I am. Now, this means that you're going to have to have either people uh, that work with you do a 30% water change every single day and vacuum up any waste or food that's been left around. Uh, you want to monitor your fish if your fish are not eating right away. Um, there's going to be food left at the bottom of the tank and you're going to want to vacuum that up and make sure that the tank is clean in that sense. So quality of water is going to be the important thing if you want to try to use a 20 gallon tank. Now, my setup is a 20 gallon tank. I can put two uh, three inch discus in there and quarantine them for up to three weeks with no problem in there and they do just fine. Same thing with Ultim Angels or uh, any kind of fish like that that's going to be of size at some point. Um, that kind of room is just fine for them as long as you don't go past uh, like a three week period or something like that. Now, my recommendation if you want a good quarantine tank is to have it completely bare so you're not moving anything around on the inside and you can clean it really easy. If it's something that you don't um, have the ability to have a, a 30 to 40 gallon tank uh, and you can only have a 20 gallon, uh, like I said, if you're disciplined enough, you can do that. But my recommendation is a 30 to 40 gallon tank as a quarantine tank. That way, if you get a larger amount of fish in, you don't have to worry about it. You've got plenty of room for them and it's easy to clean and the water changes are not so absolutely intense. If you miss a day or something like that, you'd probably be okay. Now, I like to do a 30% water change on my quarantine tanks every single day. It doesn't matter what size the tank is, whether it's a 20 gallon, 30 or 40 gallon, it doesn't matter. These quarantine tanks are important because they're getting your fish off to the absolute best start. And the only way that you're gonna do that is by keeping that tank in pristine shape if you're medicating uh, and have other situations going on where medications need to be in the tank, you want to have a couple of tanks. Tanks for fish that need to be medicated and uh, tanks for uh, fish that don't. So if you've got the ability to have a couple of quarantine tanks, that's the ideal situation. But the question to was initially, can you put a couple of small 3 inch, 3.5 inch, 4 inch discus in a 20 gallon bare tank and i mean absolutely bare there's nothing in there except for the fish and water and that's it yes you can do that do i recommend it no but if you're very very disciplined like i am 
you won't have any problems whatsoever. So if that, hopefully that answers that question. Now, as you can see behind me, the lights are out on this tank. No, there's nothing wrong with the tank. There's a whole new bunch of fish that are going to be in here. Uh, I'm coming up on a new build that I'm doing here that I think you're really going to enjoy. And uh, it's going to be wild discus only. And uh, you're going to see when uh, this tank is done, it's going to be absolutely beautiful. It's going to mirror as closely as possible um, a little bit of a slice of the Amazon River where these fish would come from, or tributaries, I should say, around the Amazon. So I think you're really going to enjoy it. If you have uh, uh, any questions about the quarantine tanks, again, uh, leave me a comment down below and uh, I will get back to you within 24 hours typically and I'll answer all of your questions. So I hopefully I've answered the questions about the quarantine tank sizes and that's going to give you some ability to have an understanding of what you can and cannot do and see if you really have the time and the discipline to do this because it's so important that you have that discipline and uh, we'll just leave it at that. So leave your comments down below as I said. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share with your friends and uh, the channel's growing and I'm really enjoying it. I'm having a really good time. We've got some new sponsors coming up. By the way, I want to thank uh, Jay, um, uh, Watley Discus. <laughs> Lost the name there for a minute. Uh, but uh, Mr. Posada down there, I want to thank him for um, the fish that I just got in the other day. They're absolutely perfect. Wadley Discus is probably one of the best in the country at supplying you with absolutely healthy, beautiful fish. Uh, once they get to your home, uh, I've never had one arrive dead. Uh, they've always been alive. Uh, if there's ever been a problem, it's been with the shipping portion of it that had nothing to do with Wadley Discus. But their fish are absolutely in prime shape. They're beautiful. They're opening a new facility. They're hoping to have it open by the beginning of next year and or maybe even possibly later this year. So if you're down in Florida and you want to look up Watley Discus, I don't know if uh, he would be able to give you a tour of the facility down there, but uh, you might call and ask. Uh, Gabe is really good at answering the phone down there and answering questions. I don't want to inundate him with people asking ridiculous questions, but if you're looking for a tour of the facility and you are someone who owns a business or has a large gallery of some kind where you show your fish to people, Gabe is an absolutely amazing guy. He'll be happy to work something out with you. And again, their fish are absolutely amazing. And I can't say anything bad about them whatsoever because every experience that I've had has been absolutely amazing and their prices. Um, you can go in the store and you're not going to find prices like you're going to get with Gabe. And of course, if you buy in volume and you are a business, he's going to offer you some discounts. So uh, if you do call Gabe or you order something, tell him George at Aquatic Concept sent you. That helps me a little bit. I appreciate it. Until the next one, thank you for joining me today. We will see you on the next one. Until then, we are out of here.